Hi everyone and welcome to another video in our series Linux for Network Engineers and in this video we'll do the last video in our sub-series about DNS mask so DNS mask is a utility we covered in at least three, four, three previous, previous videos and um, the reason is that it includes a few functionalities that we cover um, each one of them in, in a different video right so again it's a utility that is you know it's been around for almost 20 years now this is how to install it for once more uh, and um, uh, this is what functionality this includes right so in the previous videos we talked about how to set up a DNS server how to set up DNS caching how to set up a trivial FTP server and in this one and last video of, our, of, of, of this uh, sub-series we're we'll talking about how to set up a DHCP server. So, um, most likely, if you're on a home network, you have your own DHCP server that comes from the router that you are using from your ISP provider, right? Uh, but if you want to set up your own DNS, DHCP server, to have more control or experiment, this is one way to do it. So, uh, and let's jump straight ahead into the details here. So, this uh, Linux host I have, it's a Raspberry Pi Linux host, and um, uh, I have installed uh, DNS mask already, obviously, and uh, when you install DNS mask, uh, it has everything actually, except for the DNS caching, okay, which comes by default when you install the, the utility, DNS mask uh, caching kicks in, because it's no brainer to install it, because it's just, you know, there's no, like, uh, a drawback to it it has everything disabled so in order to, to enable uh, for example the trivial FTP server or the DNS server or in this case the DHCP server you have explicitly to edit the configuration file okay and enable it because as you can understand if as soon as you install the utility the DHCP server kicked in in a network for example that is most likely already has a DHCP server things would go south right so don't do that so so word of caution uh, before you do this what I'm showing you now and enable the DHCP functionality disable your existing DHCP server so either go to your router and point the DHCP server to your this host you are testing right now or if you have control of your network and you know what you are doing disable your existing DHCP server you don't want a network with two rogue DHCP servers. Okay, so uh, now you add the configuration file, and uh, there are a few options that are kind of basic. Okay, and uh, we need to to enable. As as uh, usually, um, there's in the DHCP DNS uh, mask.com file, you'll find very detailed explanation of what each option. Uh, does right and uh, what options are, are available there okay so but uh, I'm going to show you here kind of for the purpose of this short video some basic stuff you can do to get started right so here for example one of the most basic options is the DHCP range so obviously here you specify what is the um, you know uh, the DHCP um, uh, range that you're gonna assign uh, IPs in, into, right? So in this case, I'm specif specifying 172.31.0.220.250. Okay, this is the net mask, and um, which is kind of optional. And then this is the list time, right? Uh, so the list time here is 12 hours. Um, you can go down to one minute, but if you leave that open, uh, uh, unspecified, it's gonna be uh, infinite, right? So pick and choose what you wanna do, right? So, um, now a few other things you can do, of course, with, with DHCP, and I'm gonna uh, tell you about them here because you know they're kind of basic. Is you can specify your uh, router. So, here's the option here. Let me find it actually with a search DHCP, actually, with a search option. So, here's where I'm specifying some options, right? So, I'm specifying my router that's on this address 172.31.01 and a DNS server 1111, okay? So uh, now, um, there are many options you can specify for DHCP in this format, where you say DHCP option equals option, then the name of the option, and then the value. And again, I won't go through all these options here, 
but one way to get a list of these options is to type the command DNS, DNS mask, uh, help uh, DHCP. And you see here you have actually around, um, it looks like there are like close to 100 options you can, which you can refer to either by name or by kind of ID or code that they use, right? So look at the documentation about this, but I'm giving you here, for example, right, a, a list of these options, right? What log server to use, uh, domain names, like, and so many other things that, you know, DHCP can be configured with. So anyways, we specified the options you want to specify, the router, the range, the DNS server. Another option you might want to activate is the this option here, DHCP authoritative, authoritative. And what this does is, as the you know, like comments above it explain, is that when you kick uh, start this DHCP server, okay, um, the DHCP server will kick in and take over uh, the leases of, of your network, right, of your clients. Um, so it's it's recommended to to enable tasks. You can see from the comments here and what people say uh, about this option of DHCP. So that's it pretty much. So you. Um, Edit the file dnsmask.conf, you make these um, changes and whatever else you think makes sense for you. But for starters, I would say just start with the basics, right? And then all you need to do is uh, restart or start the um, DNS mask service. So as, you know, as soon as you do that, it's going to kick in, read the configuration file, and start the DHCP functionality. So how, how can we test if this works now? Here's one way I'm going to show you. I'm going to tail the, you know, varlog syscall, inf syscall information. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to do, I'm going to, I have another client here that um, I'm going to use as, as an experiment to bounce the interface and see if it's going to cause, you know, if, I, if I'm, if I'm going to see any logs in my DNS mask DHCP server. So uh, this is a client in the same network. Okay, I'm going to take the interface down and then bring it back up. And let's see now while this interface is coming up, it's going to... Uh, so you see here, uh, it just did the request, okay, with this IP, right? It tried also to get this host name, Raspberry Pi. Uh, and the DNS mask DHCP server said, no, I'm not giving to you because uh, it's already in use. That Actually, that functionality is, uh, I think, DHCP server dependent. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's it pretty, pretty much. Uh, as you can see, uh, I enabled uh, the DHCP server on my host by using DNS mask um, and some, with some basic options to get started. And now you can dig further and configure in more detail how you want your DHCP server to work. Thank you all and see you in the next video uh, on Linux for Network Engineers. Bye.